okay so the topic is equations of motion uh, first equation first equation is also called velocity time relation keep in mind and what is the equation this is the result that we are going to produce this is first equation of motion so first of all we have to draw the graph graph is this uh, you can see this is velocity axis and this is time axis let us label the graph so you can give it name like this is a and this is b and this is c this is origin okay but now you will give these labelings the reading the reading they represent c is representing time t a is representing initial velocity b is representing final velocity right now starting on the derivation slope of velocity time graph as we already know that slope of velocity time graphs gives acceleration okay but from mathematics it gives us perpendicular of the triangle and base of the triangle perpendicular to base perpendicular upon base okay now let us see what is perpendicular perpendicular you can see here is nm okay and what is base base is am so that is what we have written perpendicular by base okay now come to this and see what is in front of n and what is in front of m okay so we all will observe in front of n it is b and in front of m it is a so nm i am going to replace by ba correct and now coming to the base of the triangle base is am a in front of a we have o in front of m we have c so i have written co so you check it properly and run right now you put the reading so you already know in the graph we have a as initial velocity you can see here a is initial velocity b is final velocity so please substitute Please substitute a as final velocity and uh, u as initial velocity. We will keep upper reading first. You can see upper reading is v. So we are going to keep v first and then minus u. Okay. Similarly, upper reading is t and then zero. So you can see I have written t minus zero and this is uh, v minus u. If it is not clear, you can see it once more here. Graph is like this. This is a and this is b. Okay, upper reading is representing final velocity, lower reading is representing this and perpendicular is this. This was Nm. So, in front of N it was B, in front of M it was A. So, I have written N as B and B, M as A. Okay, now uh, in front of C, this was C. C was this. In front of M it was C and in front of A it was O. So, you can write this reading. Okay, after that when you will open this, you have to keep in mind that it is going to be upper reading minus lower reading. So, BA or AB will be B minus U and OC will be T minus O. So, that is what I have written. Now, 0 means nothing. So, I have not written 0 here. So, you can see T will go that side. It's AT is equal to B minus U and uh, minus U will go that side. So, it's equal to U plus AT is equal to V which is nothing but first equation of motion. So, this is how VM derived first equation of motion. Okay, coming to second equation of motion. Second, second equation of motion is also called position time relation. Okay, and what is the equation you have to keep in mind? S is equal to ut plus half a t square. We will again take the same graph. Okay, first and foremost thing is to do the labeling of the graph. This is velocity, right? And this is time axis. Again, same kind of labeling. N, M, this is the graph. This line is the graph. Okay, A, B. And then A is representing initial velocity, V is representing final velocity, such labeling here to C is representing T. Now, this approach will be different, obviously. Here we will not talk about slope, which we have talked in equation 1. Now, here we will talk about area under velocity time graph. Okay. And this area, velocity time graph is this. This line is the graph. Okay. And what is the area under it? Under it, it area is like this. Okay. So, this area is made up of two things. One is triangle and one is your rectangle so that is what i have written area under velocity time graph is equal to area of the triangle plus area of the rectangle now you can give the name a and m and a o m c from the graph okay now area is always equal to length into breadth length axis is your velocity axis right length axis is velocity axis and base axis is length into breadth breadth axis is time axis so that is what i have written velocity into time Okay, now what is velocity into time? We already know velocity is equal to displacement upon time. So, what is velocity into time? Velocity into time is displacement. So, velocity into time is displacement that we have written. Now, area of the triangle can be opened as half base into height and area of the rectangle can be opened as length into breadth. So, let us check the base. So, let us go to the uh, figure once again and let us check what is the base of the triangle and what is the height of the triangle. Base of the triangle is this, right? 
your a m a and m now a m is equal to c o right and how do we write c o we have already told you that first you will write upper reading okay and then lower reading so base is basically t minus o so see i have written here t minus o now let us come to the height of the triangle so let us see height of the triangle how is how the height of the triangle written so again come to this graph you can draw it separately this is u this is v and in front of this this is t height of the height of the triangle is this okay in front of this point there is v in front of this point there is u so how do we write height upper reading minus lower reading so i have written v minus u now coming to length into breadth what is length of the rectangle for that you can come to this graph only just change the color and you'll it will be more visible length of the rectangle is this hai na is this so it is upper reading minus lower reading t minus 0 so i've written length of the rectangle now what is breadth of the rectangle breadth of the rectangle is less this line now what is in front of this this point and what is in front of this this point so basically this is also length hai na yes let let me show it by black color this is length of the rectangle breadth of the rectangle so it is upper reading minus lower reading u minus 0 if, if it is not clear you can come here this is breadth this is breadth so it is u minus 0 so i have written here u minus 0 do it peacefully you will get also get it now 0 you can remove 0 remove 0 remove so this 0 remove so u into t will be ut and this will be t v minus u now as we know acceleration is change in velocity upon time this is the formula of acceleration a is equal to v minus u by t so t will be ha yeah, uh t i am taking this side so at is equal to v minus u right so in place of v minus u i am going to put at so please substitute s is equal to half as it is t as it is at into plus ut so it is at square now so this is my second equation of motion which i have derived now coming to third equation of motion third equation of motion motion is also known as position velocity relation and what is the equation v square minus u square is equal to as this you are going to keep in mind and this you are going to derive getting to the graph graph is same graph is just same you can see all the reading a b u v n m if you wish you can show and c and c is showing the reading t on time axis i have told you first job is to label velocity and this is time axis now here we have area under velocity time graph that that i have already told you area is length axis into breadth axis length axis is velocity and breadth axis is time to so velocity into time and this you already know it is equal to displacement again we no need to tell okay so left hand side is sorted now coming to right hand side so you can see area under the graph this is area under the graph what is the shape this shape is trapezium which we have done in mathematics this shape is trapezium right so this can be written as half into sum of parallel side into perpendicular distance so sum of parallel sides sum of parallel side into perpendicular distance now how can we write sum of parallel sides okay uh, you can see this is parallel side this is these are parallel side let me show with green color this is a parallel side and this is a parallel side they look parallel okay rest two are not looking parallel even so trapezium formula is sum of parallel side into perpendicular distance okay so what is first parallel side what is this parallel side nc uh, it is equal to upper reading minus lower reading so first parallel side is first parallel side is v and what is second parallel side second parallel side is this so it is upper reading u minus 0 so second parallel side is second parallel side is u so sum of parallel side you can write easily sum of parallel side is i have written name ao plus nc which is upper reading minus lower reading upper reading minus lower reading which is u plus v which i have written separately if you wish you can write this way now coming to perpendicular distance look here the formula of area of trapezium area of trapezium sorry area of trapezium can be written as half into sum of parallel side into perpendicular distance sum of parallel sides i have sorted as u plus v now coming to perpendicular distance for that you have to go to the graph once again this is perpendicular distance this is perpendicular distance so what is it upper reading minus lower reading so you can substitute perpendicular distance as t minus 0 right now it is u plus v into t now uh, i have written it v plus u 
okay no problem in that now coming to the definition of acceleration all know the definition of acceleration it is change in velocity upon time so this is change in velocity and this is time change in velocity can be written as d minus u upon t right final velocity minus initial final velocity minus initial velocity upon time so from here we are finding out the value of t time can be obtained as v minus u v minus u by a so we are going to substitute this in that equation let me show you where here i am substituting v minus u by a here i will substitute so you can see i have substituted here now this is a plus b and h is a minus b so this is a square minus b square and uh, denominator is 2a okay now 2a will come this side and it is 2as is equal to b square minus u square so this is how we have done okay let me show you the diagram once again if you wish uh, this is a graph okay this is trapezium how do we write area of trapezium and this i am doing again half sum of parallel sides right into perpendicular distance one parallel side is this u minus 0 one parallel side is this this is v minus 0 okay so sum of parallel side is v plus u and what perpendicular distance this is perpendicular distance so this is t minus 0 this is t okay this is a small l you can see the video again and again and you will get the clarity of the topic thank you